In this video, we're going to combine the knots that were facing up the way in a band with the knots that are facing down the way in a band. Those were the ones that we drew in the last video. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out now. We start off by drawing a knot that's facing up the way and then we draw a knot that's facing down the way. Then we draw a knot facing up the way and then we draw a knot facing down the way. A knot facing up the way with a knot facing down the way. Now, as you can see, this is interchanging. What is important to note here is that these lines are important. The, the line that's combining the shapes and I can illustrate that best by showing you what it could also look like. Here we've got the same band but the knots are sitting a bit further apart and uh, in a sort of uh, more of a, a, a distance apart. Here they're sort of on the same line and the difference is this line here. This is what makes the difference. This line here is not very curvaceous, it's quite flat compared to the lines that we are using in order to move our shapes up or down the way. Because although I'm drawing in the lines here, I hope you can see that here the line is a bit flatter than in this line. And here again the line is quite flat compared to this line. Of course, the same goes for this line. This is also uh, important. Uh, and likewise here, you can see this line here as well is important. It's just to really illustrate, I draw these up uh, in a fat red line. So what you want to do now uh, is you want to basically Draw your knot and then a long line down. Then you draw your knot and then a long line up the way. Then you draw your knot, a long line down and your knot and a long line up and your knot and then a long line down because what we want to do is we want to intersect this band. So here, we're coming from here and we're going um, down the way and then we're creating our knot down here. Then we're rising and then we're creating our knot. Then we're coming a long way down and then creating our knot a long way up and curving and then creating our knot and then a long way down and creating our knot and then up. So here in this last one you can see the lines got longer and also curvaceous. In order to move our shapes further apart and of course it's again the same with these lines here, longer and more curvaceous. And then that means that our knots get moved further apart. So that's the exercise to try out for this week. I'll be back next week 
with a new exercise for you.